My name's Brian Izzard. I'm a senior designer in the Ford Explorer. I'm Van Stewart, and I'm the lead aerodynamicist for Explorer. The new Explorer needed to look like an Explorer first. It also needed to look like a Ford. It needed to fit the Ford family. We also needed to bring it into the 21st century, make this thing look more modern, more elegant, more rugged. But we needed to make sure that it was fuel efficient at the end of the day. My overall goal is to minimize drag. The thing with aerodynamics is, is it's the significant part of uh, the horsepower that's required to move the vehicle, especially at highway speeds. We start early in the program doing our analytical work, and at that point in time, even before we have themes or anything from, from the studio, we're already trying to work to establish the right proportions for the vehicle and the right angles. It was clear from the outset with the fuel economy target that we had that we had to have a lot of design help. Van and I had worked together so much on this program to where we almost knew what the other person was going to think. I'd come up with an idea that I thought might help, but then I would think, well, is this really going to help from what Van's taught me? In the same way, we got to the front air dam, and late in the program, Van came back and had asked, can we extend this thing just a little bit farther in certain areas? Uh, looking at it, he had lined up some of the lines exactly where I'd want to do it. You knew that I would want to orchestrate those lines in such a way as to benefit the front end. Yeah, I think I told you I could hear you in my head saying, don't go, don't go beyond this line. I knew a bit more about what your objectives were and what it took to get to your objectives, and then you knew what I wanted as far as what this thing needed to look like. I was just happy with the whole working relationship that we had. You took on everything as a design challenge as to how can I incorporate these things that are working for Aero and make them work in a design. But at the end of the day, the thing still looks like an Explorer, it still looks like a Ford, and it still looks like a rugged SUV. It's also very fuel efficient. I don't know that anybody cares about that much about the physics of what we're doing, but they care about their fuel economy, and they're going to see a significant improvement in this vehicle over today's Explorer.